Hey, this is Ed Fine's treasure. I know uh, Will's treasures was talking about folders, coin folders, and these are my old um, Lincoln Headset folders. I, I don't know how long I've had them, but I just picked these up some time ago, a couple dollars each. Um, so I'm going to transfer my Lincoln Sense over to the new folders, especially since they're really nice on the side. When I put them in the drawer, I can see what they are. This one's really faded out. Yeah, come on. Yeah, won't even focus on it, really. Okay. Starting 1941. And I believe the older one doesn't even have anything. Yep. Well, the first book is not visible on the side, so I'm going to do that. I will show you what it looks like after I open these up. Yeah, I picked these up not too long ago because it had a 1909 VDB in it, and it was only $8 some, I don't know, four or five years ago when I was just starting to coin collect again. I don't have my originals back, <laughs> back in the 70s when I was in grade school when I did a set. But definitely uh, 1909 to 1940 is going to be the new older. A little different look to it. This one's really kind of getting ragged. And the uh, 1941. Oh, these are the same. I don't have a newer one. 1909 to 1940. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do that because this one is in bad shape. I'll replace them and see what we got. I forgot the um, folders that I just replaced. The older 1909 to 1940 was my second set. Some time ago, I picked up the coin albums from a coin shop. Like, uh, yeah. Will's Treasure was talking about. Nice to have see the be be able to see the both the front and the back on these coins. Why that one's reverse? I don't know. Oh, to show the VDB, I guess. Yep. Hard to see it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But, so to clear that up, this is my first set. Down to 1940S. Got a few that are missing. I haven't really been doing the pennies as much as I used to. But I picked this up also, and some dimes, maybe 10 or so. Mercury dimes, just a few years ago, 2018, I think it was. Let's see if I wrote down. 2019? Okay, 2019. I got the, the coin book for $6, and the mercury dimes for $1.35 each. Um... Got 43, 45, no, 44. Okay. And he had some older ones. So I got 35D. No, just 1935. 36D. Huh, where are you? There it is. In pretty good shape. Got a 1928. Sorry about the lighting. It's just not focusing, is it? There we go, 1928. But the best deal I got... Uh, that morning or whenever I bought this album he had 1916, 1916S, 1917, 1918, 1919 all for $1.35 each and the 1920, 1920S, 1923 I think that was it but all three, four, five, okay eight of those I got for $1.35 each just uh, three years ago. Not bad. Some of the older Mercury Dimes. And then my other Whitman album. I picked up John F. Kennedy album. He had one silver in there. Since then I've filled the most of them up there. So that was in 2018. When I really started getting back into the coin collecting again. It was $12. And that included... A silver coin. Uh, I can't remember what year it was. But I've got everything except the 1970, 
plus then some more. And in another album, or folder actually, I've got some of the older proofs, the uh, S proofs that I have gotten coin roll hunting since then. So here's a 2011. I think that's my newest proof. I don't have anything more current than that in the proofs. So there you go. Went from pennies all the way to half dollars just to show me show you some of the uh, albums I have. Sometime I will show you all of them. All right. Keep looking.